Hello and welcome to a new video about my stepper controller. Today I want to read in, I want to calibrate the stepper. Okay, today I want to calibrate the stepper, so I want the stepper to move in a certain direction until a limit switch is hit. Yeah? And this should then be the, the default position or the position where I know what it is. Okay, so actually I want to, to add here this is the old program, so I want to use a long variable and I say an X position in the beginning it should be zero. Yeah? And I say there is a Y position, this is also zero at the beginning. Yeah? And I will make, I will define two things, define uh, hmm, uh, X switch position and this I will move, I say 500. Why not? Should be 500. Oh no, let's say it's what are, how many steps do we have? 200. We're using micro stepping 4. Yeah, let's say 450. Why switch position also 450? Okay. Good. So. I will have a boolean also. X calibrated is false at the beginning. And also Y calibrated is false at the beginning. And I will use in loop, I will start here. If X calibrated and y calibrated then we will use we will move okay then we will move we do exactly that what we have done before and uh, we will also say expose plus equals move x so we will track the x position and also y pose plus equals move y. And here we'll print out x and y position. Uh, this we will do. Then this has, has this has still sense. Zero dot print x x pose y. y. Good. Good, good. So I print it out, expose, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. else. Here we go, else. This means not, not both x's are calibrated. Yeah? If x, if not x calibrated, we will set step and move how much? 10. Let's move one step. Why not? Delay one. So we will start to move in one direction. If not Y calibrated, step a Y move, also one. Delay one. Okay, delay one I could write here. And then I will say if, I'll do this. Somewhere else, I will do this here. If mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I will also have a bool now a static int old x limit and old y limit, and I will have an int x limit equals not digital read. Limit X. At the end I will say old X limit equals X limit. Store this. And old Y limit also. Okay, so and now 
if x limit equals 1, let's call it that way because then it looks more familiar, and old limit, old x limit equals 0. Now we have reached the x limit. What does it mean? The x pose shall go to this x switch pose. Now we know we have just touched the x switch, switch pose and that's it. The same? Ah, okay. If we are not calibrated, this means we have moved there because of our, of our calibration. Yeah? We will say stepper x dot move minus minus x switch point x pose equals zero delay 300 mm -hmm. in any case x calibrated is true Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say we are outside this. The, the only thing where this is would not work is if I turn on and I have already touched uh, the limit switch. I will use this here. If x limit equals 1, then I will stepper, I will do stepper move minus 1. Move in the other direction, yeah. else this is good, then this should be handled also. I'm not sure what is going to happen now. I would expect now that both of these drivers are turning. Yeah, because bo both are not calibrated. Ah, let's simply upload. Let's see what is happening. They should turn now. Hopefully. Yes, they do. <laughs> they are turning. And when I'm touching this X position now, closing, one should stop. This was... Okay, so I'm closing now X position. Why is that? It's at 250. Not entirely happy. Not entirely happy. Why is it 450? Okay, I have to get the information out. If this is all right, if X calibrated, if not X calibrated, zero dot print. I will write this this in brackets because we are not sure where we are, right? And here we'll write Y calibrated. Uh huh, here. Here was the error. Now, let's see if it's working now better. X, Y. X is already calibrated. Ooh. 
Okay, this is not working as expected. Okay, now let's calibrate X. Okay, X is set to zero. Now let's calibrate Y. Okay. We're slightly off. Where we can we can go out below. Okay, we have to consider the input as well. You see, we are not going to zero. We are not going to zero. I should expect X and Y to be zero. After the calibration, we immediately switched to, to, to 11 and 19, but that's clear. Uh, that's clear because here we have this. I said, okay, it's 512. I'll make it that way, that we say should be x-axis and y-axis. So we say it's the same. I hope this works better then. Okay. Good. What did also not work was that if we are not calibrated and the x limit if you're not calibrated and the X limit is 1, the stepper should move in the other direction. Yeah? And the old X limit show, shall also be 1. I hope I do not make a mistake. I make Because this actually means... I'll do it like that. This is good. Then I do not have to take care about this one. Ha ha ha! Then this does not look too, too, too weird. Only a little weird. Okay. Upload. Let's see. Let's see. So, both should start to turn. Good. Now I calibrate X. Okay, X is now calibrated. Now I calibrate Y. And now we have zero, zero. Good! Yeah. Looking good, looking good. Okay, to summarize what is happening. To summarize what is happening, let's make this big here. I press reset now. First, it seems nothing is calibrated. Yeah? So both both drives start to turn to reach the to reach the limit switch. And then this limit switch of X is now reached. This will move to the middle position. Yeah? So we have reached somewhere the limit switch and then it moves to the other direction. Yeah? And also here now a Y. Whenever I touch it a Y, it will move then. I have adjusted this is 450 the Y and whoop, it moved to the other way. So both are calibrated and zero now. Yeah? Now I'm able to move. Good. Why is why not? Why is why not zero now? I touched it a little bit too close. Let's see. Let's try once again. Move. Calibrate Y. Calibrate X. Seems to work. And now let's see what is happening. Ah, here's the mistake. Look, now we have 450. <laughs> A 
Of course, it's clear. It's clear because I'm not, I'm not fast enough. If I now press reset, we should see this go in the other direction. This should go this again. Now both are moving in this direction. This tries to get rid of the of the feedback. If I open the feedback, this will st now start also in the other direction. Right now it's correct. Now it's working correct. <laughs> I like it. And now if I calibrate it, and this one also calibrate. Good. Good. Working. Working. Now it tries to calibrate itself from the beginning. That's nice. That's nice. Good. So actually what we could start now is to try and think about how we move this display. Huh? Like I said, I want to have this labyrinth game. Marble ma labyrinth game. Uh, now it comes to mechanical design. Basically it's working with sensors and so on. So, okay. Well, this will then be next video that I explain a little bit the mechanical design. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.